Well, now, all of you Shirley Jones fans who have been wanting to see her more regularly on television, you're going to get a chance in her new series. Shirley. Right. They've really had to think a long time for that <laughs> <I> one. <know. laughs> to come up with that title. Of course, there was the Partridge family, and now you're playing a widow with how many children? Now it's three and a stepson. Okay. Two, two young children, a 16-year-old girl and an 18-year-old stepson. Surely because of the Partridge family and the long association you had with that, and now another family and the inevitable comparisons that will be made, was that, uh, did that give you some hesitation before you signed on to do this? Not really. I wanted to do another series, first of all, and um, I really feel that uh, I would have to do a series with children in it. I think the public would really want that. You know, I, I was offered things like policewoman and um, playing doctors and lawyers and those kinds of things, and I've always felt that for any longevity in a series for me, it would have to be with children somehow. Now, this is an hour show, and uh, I think it's going to have a little more um, depth in the Partridge family, because it was that really was a situation comedy. This is an hour show, and we're going to have laughter and tears and, and some good, honest stories, and not necessarily based on the children. They're going to be adult stories, too, you know. Uh, the characters that I meet in the town. I'm a school teacher, a substitute teacher, so there'll be stories surrounding that area also. and. Uh, I just think it's going to be a good show. I feel very good about it. The setting is Tahoe. Right. And a marvelous house. Now, d does that <laughs> house actually exist in Tahoe? No. Uh, it exists at Universal. <laughs> no. Um, we, we built, though, the house at Universal, and it's really wonderful. It's really beautiful. Uh, it's Victorian. It's a three-story Victorian house. And uh, the set is glorious to see with all the old antiques and everything, you know. And we did shoot uh, several of the scenes in Lake Tahoe, and we will be doing some shooting in Lake Tahoe, but it'll be mostly exterior things, you know, to get the lake and to get the snow and the flavor of the show. And you're talking about the antiques. I tell you, people who are into that kind of thing are going to flip when they see. They must have really gone to a oh, great deal of trouble to oh, find yes. it. Oh, yes. It's a magnificent set. I was thrilled when I first saw it and when we first started to shoot, shoot Shirley. And uh, it's done very authentically, you know. And of course, the house itself is a character. Uh, it's falling down. It's an old house, and it's falling down, and nothing works, you know. And that's, of course, part of the story storyline too. And we have a housekeeper th uh, that sort of comes with the house, and uh, she sort of keeps us all going. Played by Anne Duran in the show, and uh, it's going to be fun. Shirley, you have in your career worked with so many wonderful people. Of course, you yourself have an Academy Award for Elmer Gantry. Uh, but just off the top of my head, um, you've worked with James Cagney. Yes. Okay, what did you learn from James Cagney as, as you were then, a very young actress? Well, I, I think the thing that he had, uh, he's still a close friend, and I'm I, I think that um, working with him was probably one of the most wonderful experiences of my whole career. Um, Jimmy is one of those actors that really listens as an actor. Uh, everybody would say, well, what is your technique? Uh, how, how do you act? Uh, where did you learn to act? And so on. And he would say, uh, just plant my two feet and listen. And I find that that's really what acting is. And I learned a great deal just watching him because you could see him listening. And if you listen, you react. And that's what acting is. What about Marlon Brando? When you worked with Marlon, did you pick up anything from him? Well, Marlon uh, is, a, a, of course, uh, what they call a studio actor. He had a technique that he'd worked on, um, having gone to the actor's studio in New York. And um, I found that he uh, used what they call motivation a great deal. Uh, it isn't something that I find works for me, but it certainly did work for him. Uh, he would go back in time and pull at an experience that had happened to him in his past and really uh, completely relive that particular moment. And, what about uh, Henry Fonda? Well, Henry's a, a master at what he does also. I, I said if I had an acting class or if I had a, a young person, I would get Henry Fonda and Jimmy Stewart and put them in a room together and have them improvise a scene, and that would be the best acting lesson anybody could have. Fantastic. I've never heard it put quite like no, that. They're and incredible. Yeah. Because the, I did a movie called The Cheyenne Social Club with both of them, 
and literally we never had a script. I mean, they would improvise every scene they had together. They had known each other, of course, for many years and had worked together many, many times, and uh, it was beautiful to watch, just beautiful. Well, Shirley, it's so nice seeing you again. Nice we look to forward to having you back in Dallas, Fort Worth. Me too. And always um, enjoy myself. We there. hope you have a very successful season. Thank with you, Shirley. I do too. Good.